Ah, uh, good evening, YouTube. What a day. I've been taking care of a family member in the hospital all day. Um, but in between uh, running back and forth, I was did manage to catch a few sales. A few really good sales. So I'm going to walk you through my stuff. Um, it's the mother load. So bear with me. All right, so I'm in my van. And um, <clears throat> I got three of these boxes these crash case boxes the guy said that he was in the ATM business and um, they use these to transport yeah it doesn't look like the key is going to be universal I got the key to one of them I'm going to have to work that out no the key does work there it is so these things are so cool they had some sort of instrument that went in here i've got one key looks like they're all keyed alike i'm going to keep these in the van these also pop up and you can roll them away pretty cool so i got a third one it's in the shop i already unloaded it i'm going to keep all three in my in my van um I got these two cones. They're legit construction cones. I got these out of the free pile. I like that. And let me take you to the shop and I'll show you what else I got. All right. So when I say payload, it was payload. The first thing, and I'm listing this already, is I got this valve grinding Black & Decker 331 valve grinding setup <clears throat> in itself um, that really wasn't what interested me so much but um, they do carry a, a pretty good value on eBay so that's where it's going what what I got it for was this box this is a dovetailed beautiful black and decker box it's got the drawers this drawer pulls out these lift up so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this um, but I love it I'm gonna clean it up and uh, see what happens I'll go over what I got in this bag <clears throat> the reason I brought this one in is because this is full of stuff I'm gonna show you and uh, here we go so the valve grinding set I also got this <coughs> Morse um, 40 ratio I already tested this this is a 12 volt crane motor this thing is a beast um, pick that up it's already been tested it's forward reverse it, it's excellent then check this pump out this is a vineyard pump okay I can't tell whether it's vintage or not, whether someone has restored this. I mean, I just, I feel like because it's brass, um, that uh, it's probably vintage. I can't tell. It's hard. I can't really find much on this thing. T-I-F-O-N-E, Tifone 120. Um, that's going to be fun and interesting. I got this. I haven't tested this one yet because it's got an interesting, this ratchet has an interesting end on it. Um, it doesn't have the typical guy like this, but I've tested the upholstery stapler. I've tested this Husky 3.8 and then I got an Ingersoll and Rand scaler and it works amazing. Um, I did also get this. Um, stapler but it doesn't work so you know not too bad oh I've got one other one it's a pencil uh, one that I'll put here it's in one of the bags but not not bad for just grabbing everything blindly okay I had to clean off that bench all right got a pair of size 10d Ariat uh, boots 
a very nice shape. This is going to go down to the booth, 20, 50 cents. This is a Disney, Walt Disney, not Disney, uh, lunchbox thermos. That'll sell good down in my booth. I got a flight altimeter. It's a Colesman, K-O-L-L-S-M-A-N. Sensitive Altimeter MX XIVA Colesman. Pretty cool. Never ran across one of those before. Got a couple vintage uh, Milton Bradley Made in the USA Battleship, the game. These sell good down at my shop and all the parts are here. These are the original ones too, not the Chinese uh, replicas. I don't know what this, the Forever Company, this little kooky little toy, you open it up, this might be like a local advertisement for something, I gotta look this up, it's kind of a cool little toy, oh maybe not, maybe Jack in the Box, I don't know what that is, I'll have to take a look, a um, couple DVDs, the Long Way Around, uh, Ewan McGregor, Charlie Borman, Motorcycle Trip uh, DVDs. An entire bag of original Army Men. These are the these are the real deal. These aren't the cheapo. I think these are all made in the United States. So these will these will I'll get these bundled up and set down down to the booth where they belong. These out of the way. Yep. Okay. Ha. I don't know if you're into into this, but these are two high bias Max L's. Never been out of the bag. Um, I'm a big analog uh, guy. This is a, this is actually a super score. These go, believe it or not, this this just this pair right here probably go for about 20 bucks on eBay. But I'm keeping that. I got a Millionaire Two bait caster. Millionaire Two Daiwa. I got a Palm uh, uh, nailer. Let me test this real quick. It works, but it leaks. There's a leak out here, so I don't know if I can put a gasket in that or not. There's two questionable. This is the this is the money piece right here. I looked this up. U R Y U is the name. Made in Japan. This pencil um, assembly. It's got three speeds on it. I looked this up to replace this. Uh, they're like 500 bucks. I'm gonna uh, test this real quick. So I'm gonna have to read up on that. It has these ventilation holes all along the bottom here, and there's air coming out of that. But everything seems to work as it should. I'm gonna have to fool with that. So this is possibly questionable. So doing pretty good. Uh, and then I got this Craftsman double-sided tool bag. Pretty happy about that. Brand new in the box ant farm. Uh, this Culver City, California, made in USA. Uncle Milton. So it's legit. This will go down to the booth. Um, <laughs> I got a nice little stack of records. I'll go over them with you here real quick. Dire Straits. Here, let me flip these around. Okay, here we go. 
Waylon Jennings, Jethro Toll, Aqualung, Linda Ronstadt, Blue Isher Colt, Patty Smythe, Holiday, The Who, Quadrophenia, The Cars, Bob Dylan, Fleetwood Mac, Trace Hombres, Original Pressing, great album man, Fleetwood Mac Live, Grand Central Station, Steely Dan, Steely Dan, or Dire Straits, Yep. And then, honest to God, this is a mint. The vinyl, it's got some wear on here, but the vinyl is just stunning. Dark Side of the Moon, original pressing on the gatefold. So, what's it say here? 1973 Gramophone Company. I'm going to have to look that up, but this is the real deal. This is a nice, this is a nice find. All right, I know the video's getting long. Bear with me. We're getting there. We're gonna get there. The stainless steel box. It's a super nice box. Someone's made this. It's got like maybe it had a sticker on here or something. I'm gonna have to get that goo off of there. But uh, I don't know. Maybe heavy ratchet set or maybe my file. Put my files in here. I'm going to have to show you this here, turn your... Oh. I don't know what I did, I don't think I had the thing on thing, but anyway, I was just showing these people the sander that I got for Christmas and it didn't have a stand for, and I got this sweet stand. Bell saw, Kansas City. Okay, sorry about that. thought uh, I had the... That you turned on, but it wasn't. Um, so I hope you saw the stand, the stainless steel box. Um, and I think this is the last thing I'm going to show you. And it was actually the first thing that I picked up this morning. <clears throat> some trinkets. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look this up. This is an old computer game. It's a sim game, um, electronic ant colony. Uh, some of these games can go for some pretty good money. Floppy disk style. Um, all complete, it's got all the paperwork, it's got the book. That's pretty cool. Sim ant. I like it. Um, so pick that up. I got a stack. The Boy Scout. 60's Boy Scout manuals. Indian lore. There's a whole book about Indians. Can't wait to read that. First aid. Fingerprinting. Uh, bylaws. Oaths. Look at this all in like cartoon scout book how troop committee master's handbook activities book and then the master field book pretty cool kind of have fun with those and then I'll probably just bundle these up as a as a group and sell them off okay then knives. I'll start with the least interesting one. It is still, however, a Schrade um, CH7. Pretty cool. Super, super light. Be a good one probably to put on the boat. I got this I don't know what the style you would call this. It, I don't think it's old. It has a buck on it. Elk Ridge, it's called. Oh, here. China. 
made in China, but still pretty nice little knife. Pretty clean. Then another trade. Boom! Look at this bad boy. You like? Shrade LB7 USA. Got that. I'm not even going to tell you how much I got these for because it's not important. Then there's this knife. The sheath looks like someone had uh, made it. It's got a wooden handle here and it says the original super super hollow super hollow ground it is something lifetime cumulus cumulus lifetime check that knife out you like that oh here on the back h48 Hologen, H-O-L-I-G-E-N, Germany. Look at that baby. It's really light though. Man, it's crazy, huh? It's a cool knife. The tip is, that looks legit the way it was supposed to be, but the tip is kind of wonky. All right. The buck. USA 119 and it is it's a stunner it really is it's it's in really 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 good shape it's the buck knife I don't have one like that I gotta look it up it's a nice case and the whole works and then last but not least <laughs> this crazy knife Look at this thing. <laughs> it's got spoons, can openers. What to say? Can't read it. Knife. I don't know if it's a Cub Scout knife. Full on scissors. Kind of rusty. That kind of that kind of all maybe fork. What do we got here on the back? An all. A corkscrew. A file. And another all. If you know anything about this thing? Let me know. This thing's a beast. And that's it. That is, uh, that is the end of my scores for today. I paid up pretty good this weekend. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get all my money back on that pump and this, uh, this motor. And I think everything else is gonna be in the can. So you guys have a good uh, weekend. Uh, thanks for coming by and taking a look at my yard sale scores. And have a good evening. Thanks for stopping by.